Today on Sporty News, Wozniacki and McIlroy are in love. Doni and Tendulkar are honored. Nicola Karabatic and kids. Richie Macau, the new sports prophet, and Pierre Andre Senizerg and his crazy house. Planet Sports is celebrating a new romance in its ranks. World number one in tennis, Denmark's Carolyn Wozniacki is dating golfer Rory McIlroy. The problem is that Rory just attributed his U.S. Open victory to his girlfriend, Holly Sweeney, who he dated for a long time. Yep, it's complicated. But the fact is that Rory and Carolyn were spotted together in London on Sunday night, holding hands and more. Rory's ex, a 20-year-old student, escaped to Dubai to get her mind off things. Who can blame her? In any case, Carolyn's friends must have been relieved to hear the news, since they often worry about the star. Every week I, was, I, I got messages from my friends saying, oh great, I hear you have a new boyfriend. They were sending me the magazines wherever I was. And, and I just, I was laughing because, I mean, there was absolutely no truth to the stories. Yeah. But, you know, you can't really do anything. And, uh, and then they also made a list of, uh, <laughs> of guys they thought that I should be dating. No doubt her friends are pleased. The bat of champion Mahendra Singh Dhoni was auctioned off for 100,000 pounds. It's the same bat he used to hit the match-winning six against Pakistan at the Cricket World Cup in April. The foundation that Mahendra Singh Dhoni started in 2010 will use the money to create a sports academy where children will have access to sports, notably cricket, and be able to develop their talents. Indian excellence in cricket is conducive to philanthropy. The renowned Indian actor Minaj Tiwari has decided to build a temple in honor of Dhoni and Sachin Tendulkar, another living legend in Indian cricket. The 200 kids at the Secor Populaire Kinder Village got a great surprise. A visit from world and Olympic champion Nikola Karabatic, a master in the sport of handball. Happy exchanges followed between the kids and the champ who shared this message. The most important thing to becoming a high-level athlete is the mind. It's about having drive, never giving up, and training harder than the rest. The mind is very important, but people forget that. It's the reason that I was able to get where I am today. Also, my parents took great care of me and gave me good advice telling me to focus on doing well in school and then to play my sport and it's always worked for me. Richie McCaw, a name to remember, he's the new Paul the Octopus. The new psychic is actually a calf, named after Richie McCaw, the New Zealand rugby player and captain of the national team. Richie McCaw, also from New Zealand, has seen his reputation grow as the Rugby World Cup, starting in September in his homeland, draws nearer. He will be called upon to predict the results of matches New Zealand plays, but he'd better be right, or else. Richie's owner, Northland farmer Kyle Underwood, has already announced that he'll be sent straight to the slaughterhouse if he makes a mistake. So Richie knows what he has to do to avoid prematurely ending up on the plates of his team's opponents. The All Blacks are intent on winning at home and snatching the coveted World Cup title from South Africa. Paul the Octopus, his famous German predecessor, died in October 2010. Paul correctly predicted 12 out of 14 match results for the 2008 European Championships and the 2010 Soccer World Cup. A skateboarding house? Pierre-André Senizerg, owner of the famous clothing brand Etnies and 12-time French skate champ and world champ, is spoiling himself. He wants to build a house that looks like a skate ramp. It's still in its project phase, led by designer Gilles Le Bon de la Pointe. The PAS house, named after Pierre's initials, may be all curves, but it'll still be just as livable as your average home, with a kitchen, dining room, and bedroom. Something you can skate, but at the same time, it's still traditional oven, stove, and sink. Here is basically the lounge area. As you can see, you have everything to uh, chill and everything to skate. It's a good thing Pierre-André Senizerg isn't a BMX champ. <laughs>